In five days' time, the bombers of Kenya will be the center of attention as presidential election results begin to stream in. Not transmitted. IEBC holding transmission tests from 47 locations across the counties with live feeds from Mombasa, Kisumu and Nakuru. Here, IABC officials seen filling dummy presidential results from Nakuru into the KM's gadget that can only allow one entry. Presiding officers at polling stations must fill the score per presidential candidate, the total number of rejected votes, and also scan the results declaration form into the gadget. All these to be submitted to IABC's server such that they are accessible at respective constituency tallying center simultaneously with the national center. Each presiding officer can only submit results once. The results momentarily reflected on the screens, indicating successful transmission. The scores per candidate, however, took a bit longer to update. IABC has contracted Safaricom, Airtel and Telecom companies to provide internet connectivity across the polling stations for transmission. The responsibility of the MNOs and the Communication Authority of Kenya will be to provide a secure conduit to transmit the encrypted results between the polling stations and the IBC's data center. On Tuesday next week, the presidential election returning officer, who is the IABC chair of Fulete Bukati, will use the results collated and transmitted by the constituency returning officers to tabulate the national score and also assess whether the top candidate will have met the constitutional threshold of 50% plus one vote. Six IABC commissioners will be tasked to calculate the county totals and check whether the winner will have scored at least 25% of votes in at least 24 counties. There's no one at the back end trying to work around the figures. So we'll be seeing the same information as received from the polling station. IABC has also announced that the electronic transmission will not be used for 33 elections due to late court rulings that caused inclusion of more names into respective ballot papers. This includes Kirinyaga's senatorial election and Embu's governorship race, whose ballot papers will now have to be reprinted and delivered before the election. The transmission of results from 47 centers has been successful. However, the ultimate test will be on the election date when 40,883 centers will be fighting for the same resource from within and outside the country. Sam Gitukos, TV, and the Bombers of Kenya.